His name begins with an A. Oh, Jesus Christ, Magical Star, really? Who was the, okay, what was the other, um... What was the, the other guy thing the dude with the red head? The yeah. Who was the redhead? Who was the redhead in the in Futurama? Yeah. Who was that? Fry? Guy? Thank you. Fry. The voices of Fry and Bender are going to be there. Oh, uh, fucking Futurama, man. I love Futurama. I miss Futurama. <laughs> uh, Futurama, it, like, Futurama is funnier than Simpsons. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. Laugh even harder. <laughs> <laughs> because Futurama, they knew what they were doing. Simpsons just went yeah. on for too fucking long. Mm. And Family Guy, don't get me started with that. I like Family Guy, but I don't think I've seen anything after season 10. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I got up to season 10. I only watched it while it was on Netflix. And I was like, oh, it stopped. And I was like, oh, then I realized, oh, wait, it didn't stop. Uh, it, they just took him off Netflix. Oh, dear God. After, after the whole, like, faking Brian's death, I just stopped watching. God, that fucking, uh... He's like, hey, Brian's he dead. We have this big like, emotional episode. Oh, not, shit, now he's alive again. It's not so much they faked his death, but they just rewrote him into the story. Yeah. Whoa, shit, shit, mm. shit. Mm. You just I mean, know whoever's on the writing board is no. not lost. Get away from me! Like, you just know the reason they put Brian back in is because they were terrified. God of fucking family. damn it! Backlash? Nah, like, yeah. I'm under the theory that um, McFarlane is actually deliberately doing things to piss people off because he wants the show to end because he's contractually obligated to put his input into it, but he doesn't want to do anything for the show anymore, but Fox owns the rights to it. Yeah, and that's yeah. the sad thing. He's only given permission to approve scripts, so my theory is that McFarlane is deliberately choosing bad scripts in hopes that it will kill the show. Ah. You know, here's an idea. People stop watching it, because somehow the show just keeps getting views or attention. Yep. Yeah, the first several years that are really funny. Yeah. yeah early Family Guy is good. And just I like early Simpsons was good. Yeah. You know, there's, you know, a show can only go so far. And this is why, despite the fact that I miss Friendship is Magic, I'm glad that it ended instead of, you know, just... Going on and on and on yeah. and on and on. Okay, here's, a, here's another actor that um, is going to be a special guest there. John Luguizamo. I know, I know that, that name? I know that no! name. Why do I, I know that name? But I don't know He's anything about the... He voices Sid from the Ice Age series. That's mm -hmm. why I fucking know his name. Because he I was really... Well, when I was... He also played the clown character from the Spawn no. movies. I never saw the Spawn no. movies, but I was a big fan of Ice Age at first. I don't like the other Ice Age films. You didn't know that myth? No, it... I, guy who plays the clown in Spawn. Fucking no, just stay away. <laughs> I've heard so many negative things about the Spawn movie. No, no, the Swan movie is okay. Just, uh, I went to college, and there was this guy, this guy, like, 10, 20 years older than everyone who was actually in college who was a student, who was shaped like that clown. Oh. Uh, and oh my oh God, fucking God, no. That sounds horrifying, actually. I mean, maybe the guy himself was just too creepy, but no. Oh, bad memories. Three, okay. We got, okay, we got three actors shit, who shit, played shit, shit, shit. by the bell. Careful by these dragons. Right so we got Mark Paul. God damn it, uh, God damn it, God damn it! Mario Lopez, Elizabeth he cornered me! He circled you, there's no corners. No, he fucking cornered me! <laughs> oh, we got why did he catch up? We got a few actors from the Star Trek series. Another guy. Okay, yeah, like, that's um, good. George that's Takei. Funny. George yeah. Takei, Takei is gonna be there. Wait, Ooh. who's the actor that played, um... Your mom. No, Myth, no. Who's the <laughs> actor that played, um... The guy that does the shit with his hands? That's your mom. God damn it, Myth! <laughs> I don't think that's that one. Okay. At, that, at some point, Myth is gonna reveal that there's actually a guy named... freaking Yo Mom. <laughs> who is spelled in a weird well, way, Yo -Yo like Ma. it's a foreign name. And there's also a, like a composer for um, Golden Axe, 
Which, his first name is Yu. I kid you not. Literally, the word Yu. Like, why you? Yeah. Like, why you? Yeah, why O U? Why O U? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Go look it up! He, he probably wanted to stand out from all the other people whose names are fucking you. So like his name is actually time. fucking Y O U. Like that time that person, uh, there was one entertainer who tried to go by oh. no name at all. The artist formerly <laughs> owned his prince. Okay, you guys uh, are yeah. gonna get a good laugh out of that this. That was so dumb. No offense to him. Okay, you guys are gonna yes! Get a good laugh finally! Out of oh my god! Okay, I found another uh, another non-anime voice actor who's gonna be a special guest there. Okay. Roger Bumpass. Bumpass. Squidward. The voice of Squidward's gonna be there. <laughs> Yes, Bump ass name. is his last name. Our, our fucking minds are in the gutter. Our minds are in the gutter, Jesse. What you? Expect? Oh, I'm thinking about the Christmas story. Bump oh, ass. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. gonna be there. I want him to do yeah. a Squidward voice. Can you? Can you get him to say something in a? <laughs> can you get him to curse as Squidward and record it and bring it into the voice chat? Um, the problem is, no! there's, a, there's a huge problem with that request, um, uh, Why? You, you can't curse in this- is he contractually obligated to not use the Squidward voice for vulgar language? No, it's because you have to pay! So then pay the man! Like, that's the problem! That's a lot of money! How much I'm money could it possibly be? to get a voice actor to say something in a character's voice that the character will never say in a million years. Because that is the funniest Actually, shit did on you know that to me. Started, did, you, started, did you guys know that uh, in that one episode of Spongebob where they had them saying the censored bleak out curse words, they yeah. were actually cursing and it was censored over? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a good bit of trivia. Here's how you do but, it. You start a GoFundMe. You name it, get Squidward to say fuck. People will pay. <laughs> would you want to do the same thing to the voice actor who did Duke Nukem? Because I would like, I would love to hear him say the actual do, uh, the dick kick him line. Oh, God. One thing is for sure, you have it, you have guys are going to think it's ridiculous of how much you have to pay to get an autograph from Weird Al. You want to guess how much? Uh, too much? All the money. No! $20. No, it's 50 bucks. Exactly. Oh, that's not that. much. That's not much. That's, that's Are not you freaking kidding me? For somebody that's who can't a video just game. get a lot of money, that is a lie. $50 a... for an autograph. Yes, that's a video game nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Come that's on. That's still a lot for me, okay? Like, 50 bucks? What the heck? Wait, can I get oh can I get him to say something lewd in cheese sandwiches voice? Oh my and god. Then... Jesus. Please, no. I mean, that's. Oh, hell bad. yeah! <laughs> no, no. Wolf head, I know I'm what we not... should do. What should I do? Logic. You should, it's like, you should get him to say something specific and then bring it to me or, or like, just do it yourself and say, it's like, you say something and have it recorded to seem like it's a conversation between one of us and Cheese Sandwich. Oh. <laughs> and just make it hilariously dumb. Audio. Or just make the fucking like <laughs> you stole my wife thing or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I could chase him around the screen oh, going, you, "You stole my wife." No. And then, oh, dude, I could get him to say in cheese sandwiches voice, "She never belonged to you, Wolfhead." Like in a fucking oh. Palpatine esque. And then, just, <laughs> and then just and then just play the clip from the show where Twilight's heart shatters and you see it in the episode like a fucking mortal. Oh dear thing. God! Oh my, oh my God! Sick. Fucking fatality! <laughs> That's a fucking brutality. Oh, this guy's a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, logic. Look, the grass penis is back. Oh, they exploded. Grass penis. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my oh, god! Really? You fucking had to say that! God damn it! They're reaching for you, man! Oh, no, no! I don't want you! Fuck you! There's only one... <laughs> oh, he shit! To the grass penis. Oh god, it opens. Oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, he's got an even smaller orange penis inside here. 
Oh my god, it does open! I don't want to know! I don't, I don't like this. the world's worst piranha 